The Poco F1. It's got excellent hardware but was a little held back by buggy software. Well, that was my verdict when I reviewed it nearly two months ago. Since then, Xiaomi has been hard at work rolling out updates and fixing some of the issues that, was, that were plaguing the Poco F1. Fast forward to today and Xiaomi is now rolling out the stable MIUI 10 update for it and we've got it on our Poco F1s, installed and ready to go. Hey guys, Ash here from C4 Retech and here's everything that you'd want to know about this new update. If you do end up liking this video, please don't forget to turn on notifications by clicking that bell icon. MIUI 10 comes with a nice new visual upgrade. We have a redesigned notification shade, an entirely revamped multitasking screen that looks pretty cool and is so smooth when you're scrolling through it. Even the volume options have changed. Clicking on the volume button now changes the media volume by default. You can of course click on these three tiny dots if you want to fiddle around with the ringer or alarm volume. Moving on, we also get the new gesture-based navigation system. Now, to be fair, even MIUI 9 had gestures, but there was no way to quickly switch between apps. You can now do that with MIUI 10 with one fluid gesture. I love it. It feels spontaneous like a continuation of the back gesture. We even have the new app manager that lets you batch and install apps. So basically, all the features that we talked about before in a MIUI 10 video well, they're all present and accounted for on the POCO F1 right now. Moving on from the design aspects of things, let's talk performance. So to begin with, we ran some benchmarks to see if MIUI 10 had changed things up in here. And it looks like we get higher numbers. Uh, for example, with Antutu, a nearly 8% improvement. Not bad at all, but it's, you know, benchmarks are in everything. We have also been playing around with the F1 for a few hours now. And the phone did feel a tad faster after the update. It seems like the whole interface is smoother now and apps seem to open up a split second faster. Maybe that's placebo, maybe it's the inbuilt optimizations for MIUI 10 that are shining through, I'll let you be the judge. Now coming to bug fixes, one of the most talked about issues with the POCO F1 was the Widevine DRM issue, well let's call it an issue. You know, it didn't let us stream HD content via apps like Netflix and Amazon Prime. Sadly, that has not been addressed with this update. The certification is still at L3, which means the streams are still going to be capped at 540p. Now, there are rumors floating around that Xiaomi is going to fix this one when they update MIUI 10 to Android Pie on the Poco F1. But I'm not going to hold my breath for it. On the plus side, the PUBG gameplay bug seems to have been resolved though the notch no longer interferes with the gameplay. So that's something good, right? Now, how about ads? Xiaomi has recently started putting ads, let's not say putting, shoving ads down people's throats with MIUI. Many of you have tweeted, uh, tweeted screenshots to us. Uh, you know, we've seen ads in the settings menu on the app lock screen and it even pop up onto social media apps and so on. Well, none of that has made its way over to the Poco F1. We've checked everywhere. And even after the MIUI 10 update, the POCO F1 seems to be relatively ad-free. For now, at least. Uh, how about you guys? If you have a POCO F1, how is it faring? Have you seen any ads? Uh, is it intrusive? Let us know. If possible, send us screenshots via Twitter at C4ETech. Now, finally, let's wrap this quick video up with a few camera samples. Uh, it looks like nothing much has changed. The camera interface looks the same. Coming to the pictures themselves, the detail levels look unaltered, although Xiaomi might have tweaked the color science a little bit. Today is a cloudy day in Chennai with drizzles and so on, so that might be the reason why the pictures don't look that bright. Here are a few more shots. Let me know what you think. So overall, what do you guys feel about the MIUI 10 update on the POCO F1? Has it brought about enough new changes or did you expect a little bit more and are feeling disappointed? Honestly, I feel like this was a nice little update that, that brought with it a ton of visual changes, squashed a few bugs here, here and there and threw some new functionality into the mix. That said, I would have loved to see Widevine uh, fixed, maybe a super slow-mo option, 4K 60fps and all that. Anyway, if you haven't received your OTA update yet, don't panic. It's a staged rollout, so you will receive the MIUI 10 update on your POCO F1 within a few days. But if you, like us, are impatient and cannot wait, then I'll have links in the description below, instructions on how to manually flash MIUI 10. Now remember, always back up before a flash. It shouldn't 
mess with your data, but it's always better to be safe than sorry. So before you follow anything, back up everything. That's it for this video. As always, thumbs up, thumbs down based on what you felt. Let me know your thoughts about me, UI 10 and the Poco F1 in the comments. Do the math and all that. Please share this video with friends and family if you can. Also subscribe and turn on notifications by clicking that bell icon if you haven't yet. Thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, my name's Ash. You've been watching C4 Retech and I'm signing off for now. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.